What's up, Grayson Report? I am back with another video and to continue spooky season. Even though I celebrate spooky season all year round, we have the world's most haunted cities right after this. As I was searching the interwebs, I found this cool little article about the world's most haunted cities. And it's from Time Travels or Times of India. World's most haunted cities. The allure of haunted cities lies in their ancient folklore, ghostly legends, and lingering mysteries. While haunted houses are well known, it's fascinating considered that some believe entire cities can be haunted as well. Here are our top choices for global ghost hunting adventures. Bagua, Philippines. Although a prominent tourist destination in the Philippines, it's also renowned for its eerie reputation as a haunted city. This urban area has a history marked by brutal World War II atrocities and the devastating 1990 Luzon earthquake. Baguio serves as home to several ghostly sites. The Philippine Military Academy, rumored to be haunted by a faceless cadet in Casa Vallejo, a former detention facility for German prisoners of war. Number, I was like thinking because it went to number two. So what was number one? <laughs> this article makes no sense. Number three, Port Arthur, Australia. As per the records, annually 50,000 tourists visit Port Arthur for a chilling encounter with Australia's infamous penal colony through ghost tours. Once known as Hell on Earth, Port Arthur housed prisoners who endured grueling manual labor under the scorcher Green, Australian Sun. The prison ceased operation in 1877, and in 1889, the renowned ghost tours commenced. These tales are so spine tickling that it's not unusual for visitors to faint during the tour. Number four, San Francisco, California. From Alcatraz to Chinatown and across the waters of the San Francisco Bay, the city teems with ghostly tales. At Alcatraz, former inmates reportedly haunt the site with rattling chains and chilling apparitions. Legend has it, it ha has it that in 1942, the USS Kennison crew witnessed the ghostly SS Tennessee, a ship that sank in 1853. Chinatown, with its Mayhong tile clatter from bygone gambling dens, is perhaps the most haunted, prom prompting visitors to carry firecrackers to ward off evil spirits. I have always wanted to go to Alcatraz. I've passed by it, but I've never actually been on the island. So, I've always been wanting to... Uh, Guys, uh, comment below. Have any of you guys visited Alcatraz? Number five, Colmenscope, Namibia. It now stands as a deserted town, which was once a thriving hub and was home to the first x-ray machine in the Southern Hemisphere. However, a century ago, it was abandoned when the diamond mine, which had fueled its prosperity, ran dry. These sun-bleached remains engulfed by desert sand, now draw global tourism and phot photographers. As visitors explore the former rooms, they often describe an eerie, chilling sensation evoking a haunted atmosphere. Number six, Norfolk, UK. Said in eastern England, this place has endured centuries of turmoil, hurricanes, fires, and conflicts since the early 17th century. At Blickling Estate, a haunting legend persists of Anne Boleyn, who is said to annually ride carrying her head on the anniversary of her ex execution. Off the shores of Sheringham, visitors have reported eerie sounds that some attributed to the ghostly cries of mariners who lost their lives in a tragic storm. Imagine seeing Anne Boleyn riding a horse and carrying her head. Whoa, I would definitely, I would be definitely trying to ki catch this on camera. Because that, and this place looks like a cool place to visit one day. Number seven, New Orleans, Louisiana. New Orleans, with its dark and storied history, is often considered the most haunted city in the U.S. Notably, haunted locations include 
Lafette's Blacksmith Shop Bar, La LaRue Mansion, Hotel Monteleon, and Tableau, an old theater rumored to be haunted by various spirits. Additionally, St. Louis Cemetery No. 1, dubbed the most haunted cemetery in the United States, houses a diverse array of figures from pirates and politicians to yellow fever victims and the queen of voodoo contributing to numerous reported ghost sightings. This is another place I would love to go to one day is New Orleans. It has It's full of history and I've seen it... Um, on TV and it, it it looks like an amazing place to visit. So this is definitely one of the places I would love to visit. Number eight, Savannah, Georgia. Founded in 1733, Savannah, Georgia is famous for its wide streets and moss covered squares. While its daytime charm is undeniable, the city takes on a more eerie atmosphere at night. Interested in meeting Savannah's intern internal inhabitants take a moonlit tour to the city's most haunted places from a site of a gruesome triple murder to an abandoned morgue tunneled beneath an old hospital that once sheltered yellow fever victims number nine dublin ireland while dublin has largely moved on from its grim past not every spirit has chosen to move on to the afterlife Ireland is renowned for its rich supernatural lore with many famous ghostly characters and stories originating from centuries of storytelling by ancestors around Irish peat fires on eerie nights. From the Celts, Celts to the Pro Protestants ascendancy, Protestants ascendancy, each culture wave has left its haunting imprint, making Dublin otherworldly folklore incredibly captivating. Number 10, Prague, Czech, Czech Republic. I'm sorry, guys, I can't read today. Prague, an ancient city steeped in a millennium. <laughs> See, I told you I can't read today. Millennium of history is a prime ghost spotting location. Its winding cobblestone streets and quick falling night create an enchanting, surreal atmosphere where anything seems possible. The Czechs' lands are brimming with magical tales, myth, ghosts, and legends. In short, it's a treasure trove of nocturnal stories. So is Prague truly haunted? As you navigate its maze-like cobblestone streets, you can be the best judge of that. So guys, what? which city out of all the cities that they announced in this article... Um, uh, that you would like to visit comment below there are several like i said i've always wanted to go to alcatraz um i've been by it been to san francisco beautiful city um been by it on a on a boat but i've never been on the island and it's something i've always wanted to go on um would love to go to new orleans that um i've seen it as i was saying i've seen it on uh, TV and it looks amazing. Um, also has a lot of history, a uh, lot of history, a lot of um, folklore. Uh, would definitely love to make a trip there one day. And uh, England and Ireland, as um, my grandmother's mother is from Ireland, so it's always been a place I've always wanted to visit. I've always wanted to visit. Um, England, Ireland, and Scotland. So that's definitely on my bucket list. So guys, comment below which one of those cities um, would you like to visit? And have you been to any of them? Comment below. And just remember, I go live every Monday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and Saturday at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Be there and be squared and stay spooky, guys.